Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss how to print patterns. So, using loop control statements in a C language. So, actually most of the interview questions based on these patterns, how to print different patterns, star patterns in a two dimensional way, right? How to print a patterns, okay? See, first I want to print a simple pattern. So, stars printing with a five rows and five columns. So, five stars in each row. So, five stars I want to print five stars. So, we need to use a two for loops. So, one loop outer loop is representing number of rows and inner loop is representing number of columns. Okay. So, two for loops we are writing for outer loop i value starts with 1 sir how many rows are there 5 rows are there i equals to 1 i equals to 2 i equals to 3 4 5 5 rows i equals to 1 i is less than 5 i plus plus i is less than 5 i plus plus so now inside. So, inner for loop represents how many number of columns or in a each row how many stars we are printing that it will represent. Here j value starts with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, now here j value starts with 1, j is less than or equals to 5 j plus plus inside how it executes observe first i value 1 1 is less than or equals to 5 condition true so with i value 1 the control move inside with i value 1 no, that is nothing but first row we are printing now first row i equals to 1 the control come inside j value starts with 1 j is less than or equals to 5 that is nothing but j equals to 1 the control move inside i equals to 1 j equals to 1 this is intersection point so there we need to print one star simply print f we are printing the star how many times inner loop executes right after execution of a star printing again it will go and increase that j value j value become 2 2 is less than or equals to 5 j value 2 still i value 1 only j value 2 2 is less than or equals to 5 condition true with i value 1 and j value 2 second star it will print second star next j value become 3 j value 3 3 is less than or equals to 5 condition true so here it is it will third star it will print next j value 4 fourth star Next j value 5, 5th star. Whenever j value is a 6, condition has failed. 6 is less than or equals to 5, condition has failed. It will terminate. Inner loop execution terminated. Inner loop execution terminated means, so first row printing has been completed with i value 1. So, first row printing has been completed. Then we should send the control to the second row next row. So, after execution of a for loop, how to send the control to next line? Just print f, print f slash n. So, new line escape sequence slash n. It will send the control to next line, next line. Sir, how i become 2? Whenever it reaches the last statement of outer loop, last statement, again it will go and increase that i value. So, now i value become 2, 2 is less than or equals to 5 condition true, here it is i value 2, again control move inside, again j value starts with a 1, again j value restarts with a 1. So, again with j value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 second row will print, next i value become 3, again j value starts with a 1, 2, 5 third row elements it will print. Next, i value become 4. So, fourth row values it will print. 
next i value become 5 fifth row will print whenever i value become 6 6 is less than or equals to 5 condition has failed so then it terminates whenever outer condition has failed then the control come out of the program so like that we can print 5 rows and 5 columns so with a full of stars okay now i just want to print another pattern c now I want to print this pattern. So, what is the new pattern? In the first row, I want to print only one star. In the second row, I want to print two stars. A third row, three stars. Fourth row, four stars. Fifth row, five stars. So, these are. Here, observe very clearly. Whenever I value equals to 1, whenever the control move inside with I equals to 1, in a previous case, every time inner loop is repeating 5 times. So, 5, 5 stars it is printing. But now, sir, how many times inner loop should repeat, sir? How many times inner loop should execute, sir? See, when I value is a 1, 1 star it has to print. When I value 2, 2 stars. I value 3, 3 stars. Nothing but I stars it has to print. So, inner loop should execute depends on size of the i value, depends on size of the i value. See, j value starts with a 1, but not up to 5, it is up to i, it is up to i. Now, look at this, j value 1, 1 is less than or equals to i value 1, condition true come inside with j equals to 1, 1 star it will print. Next, whenever j value become 2, 2 is less than or equals to 1, condition has failed. Condition failed. Then inner loop will be terminated. Then directly control command execute that new line character. It will send the control to next line. And whenever it reaches end of the outer for loop, again here it is a modify statement will increase. i value become 2. Now, again j value starts with a 1 j value starts with 1, 1 is less than or equals to 1, condition true, so first star it will print, next j value become 2, up to 2 right, 2 is less than or equals to 2, second time also condition true, so second star it will print, next whenever j value become 3, 3 is less than or equals to 2, condition has failed, so then it will send the control to new line. Okay, then I value become 3. So, 3 stars it will print. I value 4, 4 times inner loop executes. Next, I value 5, 5 times it will execute. So, this is the way. Okay, how to print a simple pattern. Sir, this pattern in how many ways we can print using right modify statements, nothing but uh, so modify operators, right increment operators and decrement operators. In how many ways we can print that we will see in the next session. Okay? For more videos, please log into Narayshadi channel. Thank you.